The respiratory system is the network of organs and tissues that help you breathe. It includes your airways, lungs and blood vessels. The respiratory system has two main jobs, to deliver oxygen to your muscles and to remove the waste product, carbon dioxide. We need to understand the pathway that air takes through the respiratory system. The five key parts of this pathway are the mouth and nose, the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles and the alveoli. We breathe in air through our nose or mouth and this travels through the trachea, also known as the windpipe. From here, the trachea splits into two branches leading to each lung. These branches are known as bronchi. The bronchi then split into smaller branches known as bronchioles. At the end of the bronchioles, we can find the alveoli, which are millions of tiny air sacs, and this is where gas exchange takes place. The diaphragm and the intercostal muscles are responsible for ensuring that we breathe. The intercostal muscles lie between the ribs, whereas the diaphragm sits beneath the lungs. When the diaphragm contracts, it moves downwards into a flatter position, which allows the lungs to expand and take in air. This causes inhalation, also known as breathing in. When the diaphragm relaxes, it moves upwards into a dome shape, which forces air out of the lungs. This causes exhalation, known as breathing out. Similarly, the intercostal muscles contract in order to expand the rib cage and help open up the lungs during inhalation. As the intercostal muscles relax, the rib cage drops inwards and downwards to help with exhalation. The lungs can expand further during exercise due to the use of the pectorals and the sternoclidmastoid. The pectorals are the chest muscles and the sternoclidmastoid is a muscle at the site of the neck. The contraction of each of these muscles helps to force more air into the lungs. During expiration, the abdominals assist our respiratory system by pulling down the rib cage which forces air out of the lungs. Gas exchange takes place at the site of the lungs. When the air reaches the alveoli, oxygen will pass through the thin walls of these tiny air sacs in order to enter the bloodstream. Likewise, carbon dioxide will make its way from the bloodstream into the alveoli and the lungs in order to be exhaled. The alveoli are surrounded by capillaries to make it possible for the, air, for the air to move between the lungs and the bloodstream. Gas exchange takes place due to diffusion. This is the movement of a substance from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. At the site of the lungs, the alveoli have a high concentration of oxygen and a low concentration of carbon dioxide. The bloodstream is high in CO2, but low in oxygen. Therefore, the oxygen will travel from a place of high concentration, the alveoli, to a place of low concentration, the bloodstream. This is known as moving along the concentration gradient. CO2 will follow the same principle as it moves from the bloodstream to the lungs.